all-sufficient sacrifice so freely given such a price for our redemption you see heaven's gates they swing wide there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain yeah, yeah. the all-sufficient sacrifice that was freely given at such a price bought our redemption and for us because of that heaven's gates they fling wide they allow us to enter into the presence of the lord they guarantee us with our own submission and declaration to live our lives committed to jesus they guarantee us the opportunity to enter into the courts of heaven in romans 5 starting in verse 9 it says this since therefore we have now been justified by his blood much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received a reconciliation. To be at a place uh, in our journey in life where the word reconciliation is probably being said more um, now than it was years ago, and the understanding of racial tensions and things that uh, just genuinely need to be reconciled, it is amazing to me to, to look at the word of God and actually it blows my mind how we have the word of God and we have the true understanding of what reconciliation looks like but then when when it comes to the tangible and practical implications of that in our daily life especially with the climate that we're walking in now it's like we forget um, that we've been reconciled and what that looks like in a way that uh, is disheartening sometimes the enemy uses tensions and he especially uses uh, tensions between what we consider as enemies and it only widens the gap and makes the, the tension thicker. So we're finding people having relationships be severed, um, unhealthy, hard conversations that are destroying people or people taking a stance and speaking in a way that is um, beyond what anyone would fathom what they do. But here in the word, it says this, for while we were enemies, we were reconciled. I believe as a Christian that our lives should be a reflection or our journey should be a reflection of the life that Christ lived and exempl exemplified for us. So while we were enemies, God still chose to send Jesus to reconcile us. What does that say about this day and age? Where we are as Christians, we have the perfect example for our own lives of being loved and being chosen when we were an enemy against the one who loved us. So with the loved ones that we're having hard conversations with, writing people off, um, putting ourselves in a position to completely um, dethrone everything that the Lord would have us as believers to do is not the way to handle reconciliation. You cannot like someone, but you still are called to love them. Loving does not mean I'm going to like everything you say. The Lord died for us. Because God, our Father, loved us so much, loved us so much, that he wanted to reconcile the brokenness when we were his enemies. I hope that this week or this moment can be something that we can all reflect on to look at and to see how are we walking out our faith and our understanding of reconciliation in this season and in this climate when it comes to the tensions of racism uh, in our country and in our world. 
I hope this blesses you guys and I encourage you to examine yourself as well as I have to daily on how are we living out a life that God has called us to and that he has shown us. Have a blessed day.